Our next guest is one of the most recognized personalities in the world. She has starred in more than 60 films and is not only an actor, but a producer, a United Nations Goodwill Ambassador, and a New York Times bestselling author. Just slow down, please, okay? <laughs> she has an upcoming series for Amazon, Citadel, which has been described as a groundbreaking global spy series. It premieres on Prime Video on April 28th. Please welcome, for the first time, to the South by Southwest studio, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. You've given me cred finally in the <laughs> motherland that I actually have a Bollywood superstar. <laughs> so everything that I've done in my life to this moment meant nothing, but right now you have just validated. So just as this a desi. This is for the pinned back home. For the pinned, for the desh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and we're going to drop a lot of Hindi Urdu here yes, uh, for I the next that. 20 minutes. Uh, I'm watching the show, Citadel. Amazon sent over two episodes. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so I saw the first two episodes. Oh. I won't spoil. I'm, okay. I'm very nervous because I think the Russo brothers might hurt me if I spoil something. Ooh. Fact. I'm watching the first seven minutes. Okay, Priyanka shoots, gets shot at, kicks, get kicked, punches, gets punched, uh, looks fantastic in the dress, wears a red lipstick, shoots, and then also speaks five languages. <laughs> and I think that happened in the first seven minutes. Now, I'm watching this, and uh, as your, I, I think I'm older than you, as your Desi uncle, and as, Unc uh, as, as an uncle, and also knowing as a fellow parent, I'm like, wait a second, Priyanka has children. This is coming out right now. Why is she risking herself? She must have scars. I mean, I'm sitting there watching this and it's you doing all these stunts. Why take on such a challenging role, which I'm sure has left scars at this stage of your life? I'm gonna, it's a couple of things. I didn't do a Tom Cruise here. Like I wasn't really, you know, jumping off a building or flying a MiG, but yes, yet. I, yet, yet. But um, I, you know, I grew up in Bollywood. My, I started my career in Hindi language entertainment and I did a lot of action movies there at, back in the day. And um, we didn't have like fancy stunt doubles and people who would do that. We didn't have like, you know, insurance won't cover your actors doing it. Like the actors did, did it. it. Like, I mean, we had, we had stunt teams, but you did it. Like yeah. the, that concept didn't exist. So I kind of learned very early in my career to trust my body, to train my body, mm. to be safe, to be able to work in an environment where um, in my you know, almost two decade long career, there's been very few times that I've made contact or, um, you know, so you understand the, the physicality and the art of being able to do stunts in mm. movies. So it's not real, but you have to make it look real. You made it look really real. <laughs> I was very impressed. And in, in, yeah. in addition to that, you know. I mean, the falling and the, the, some of it is real. I have a scar on my eyebrow. Oh, I see it. See. Oh. Yeah, the camera and I collided. The, is, that a, a, is that a Citadel, Citadel scar? Yeah. Oh, so that's a mark. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, not just that, but this particular show. You are one of the faces of this show. It's a global show. It has a global footprint. It's spawning multiple shows in different languages. That pressure, what does that do to you? Does it fuel you? Do you get the nerves? Get the butterflies at this stage in your career? I feel like I, get, I left that behind a long time ago. Mm. Um, I know that actors, we are the faces on posters, so people give us a lot of credit, but we're standing on the shoulders of almost like a thousand people that made this show. Excellent over, answer. Over four, three, four years. Mm. And um, yeah, just because Richard and I faces are on the poster doesn't mean that um, that's how it was made. It wasn't us just magically arriving and everything just happening. This took prep, this took two years of prep. It yeah. took writing, rewriting, it took training, it took camera crews, you know, flying to different parts of the world, shooting stuff that makes us look good. It was a mammoth effort. And then to be able to create local language shows so that like a Hindi speaking audience will watch an Italian show because they're interested in the character that went from the Hindi show to Italy. Yeah. For within the Italian this universe show, that you within created. Within this universe yeah. of Citadel. I mean, that is such an amazing social experiment. It is so incredible to see a streamer like Amazon with a female head whose idea this was. She conceptualized the whole thing. She was like, I have come in as the head of Amazon Studios and I want to create something which is actual global diversity. When we talk about diversity in America, I think we spend a lot of time focusing on what people, you know, different 
kinds of people, people who look different, but we don't really focus a lot on how we sound. Diversity is different languages yeah. across borders. It's not just skin tones. It's not just features. Not just it English. Is cultures. Yeah. yeah, it's not English. It's Hindi. It's Urdu. It's so many different languages around the world. And this is true global diversity that's never really been done before. It's very ambitious, Amazing. the fact that it has literally a global footprint. And that's what excited me. I, before I even heard the story, I said yes, because I just loved the whole idea. Different, the, the spinoff <laughs> with different leads in different languages yeah. related to the same universe. Because I don't want the Russo brothers and Amazon to hurt me, <laughs> what can you tell us about the show? The plot. Okay, um, try and do the log Because, you know, I saw the first two episodes. I, I, You're not taking the yeah, A lot of okay. stuff happens. <laughs> a lot happens. Um, Richard and I play elite spies, um, which is, think, dystopian future. You know, there's been a lot of war in the world, as we are seeing, and um, the world decides that they're going to share intelligence, and Citadel is created, mm. so that it's an intelligence agency that is not loyal to any nation. It's loyal to humanity. Now, while... And we are elite spies and Citadel, the best of the best. Citadel is taken down right at the beginning of the show by people who say, who are you to decide mm. who's good and who's bad? Which is also the right perspective. You know, who are you to have supreme power? And who are you to be, decide saints or devils? Which was an amazing... Um, you know, amazing way of having uh, an antagonist, but you have the antagonist. I mean, that's just how the world operates. You, you can right? relate to the antagonist. There are governments who say that this is right or this is wrong, and then there are people and cultures who say, "Who are you to say that? How do you and, know?" And to act unilaterally. Exactly, and act unilaterally. So that that's where the show starts. That Citadel is taken first down. First ten minutes. Yeah, first ten minutes, and our memories are wiped um, because that is Citadel's contingency. If their spies get caught. Mm. They wipe your memories through futuristic technology. And uh, that's basically the show. And you it's... play multiple characters in a way because both you and Richard Madden's character have amnesia and then you have to find each other and things happen. I'll leave it at yeah. that. You've got to watch it happen. April 28th. Now, you talk, you've taken on a lot when it comes to representation. Expectations. Okay. Now, let's do real Desi talk because there are two yeah. Desis here. Yeah. You come to America, Bollywood superstar. I'll tell you what people were saying on the WhatsApp chats. Priyanka, what do you think Okay, she's coming to America. Okay, let's see what happens. Priyanka's coming to America. Let's see what she does. Oh, she's a star. Okay, okay, she's a star. Oh, she's going to marry. Oh, she's marrying a Gora. Oh, Nick is going to marry. She's marrying a white man. She's marrying Nick, a younger man. Okay, let's see. This won't last. Then you have Americans. Who's this Bollywood star thinking that she can come to America? Why is she so outspoken? Why does she clap back? Two different expectations from two different parts of the world. How do you navigate that and manage that and say, you know what, F you, I'm going, to do my, I'm going to do it my own way? People's opinions are not, catering to people's opinions are not my job. Mm. It's a byproduct of my job. The fame that comes from my job is not my job. That's a byproduct of my job. Um, when I decided to be a public person by entering films and movies and entertainment, I did have, a, you know, deal with the devil, which kind of makes me public conversation. It makes me dinner was, table conversation. Was that conversation. the Faustian bargain that you have to give I up? think it's the, it's the realist in me. Mm. Um, I can be, I think, emotional and romantic about the fact and say, you know, be utopian and say no one has a right to speak about me, but I became a public person. So I become dinner table conversation and people discuss my life and my life intimately and... No. Um, and tear it apart, talk about my children and my future children, my child, my family, my husband, my father, how I operate, what I said, what I don't say, what I look like, what I don't look like, how I should be ageless and how I should... You're um, not age... You're not... <laughs> imagine. Oh, <laughs> not ageless here. Um, Disappointment, but, but please continue, yeah. I mean, there is all of that. And yeah. I kind of... This is a recent development. Mm. This is not something I could do when I was younger. But a recent development, I created a really thick hide. And um, instead of getting hurt and crying and feeling bad that people don't treat me, you know, in a human way where they don't think it stings and it hurts, where they don't think that I might have a spiral which will um, affect you know, your make life. me feel yeah. physically, yeah. Um, affect my health, my mental health, people don't think that. They don't consider it because... She's a public person. She's on a poster. She must be making money. Must be this. Must be that. So why do we care about their feelings? And that kind of made me a little bit more of a recluse. I have um, become a little bit more, much more actually, introverted, private. 
Um, you know, it makes me want to protect myself a lot more. It's been 22 years of being bashed and, you know, um, but I pivot my focus on the amount of relentless support I've had. Um, my fans jumped into it with me. I did music and it lasted for two seconds and they went after but it yeah, for but me. But they, they supported you, know, you. They supported it and my fans like, you know, I was doing small parts in Hollywood while I was taking auditions, you know, trying to get invites to the big parties and I was hustling. My fans stood by me even though everyone else was saying, oh, she's doing small little roles or whatever. But that's how it starts, guys. You have to start small and then you build. That's well, just well, But you know, speaking about the building, you, you know, the fact that you plunged, right? Because you won this small little title called Miss World. Mm -hmm. um, you might hear about it, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, local, right? Local. Yeah. And then you jump into Bollywood. You get 60 plus movies. You're crushing it. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to go across the pond and I'm going to America. And in America, I'm going to make it. And there's something as a, you know, as a fan of Bollywood, as a person who grew up in a Pakistani household, we know these faces, we know you, but so many actors who have come, Hollywood just wastes them. Michelle Yeoh, it took her 30 years to finally get the opportunity to crush it in, yeah. in everything, um, everywhere, everything, all at once, right? She's great in it. And so many Daisy actors say, like Shah Rukh says, Shah Rukh Khan, why should I go there? I'm, I'm comfortable here. How were you able to make it? How were you able to navigate this terrain, which, let's be honest, historically has not done justice to our stars back from home? Comfortable is boring to me, mm. and I'm not um, arrogant, I'm self-assured. I know when I walk onto a set, I know what I'm doing. I don't need validations of executives. I'm willing to walk in with my showreel and show people the work that I've done. I'm willing to take auditions. I'm willing to do the work. I don't carry the baggage of my success in another country when I walk into another country. Um, I don't have an arrogant nature like that. I don't have an ego that operates before my job. Um, I'm very professional. Um, if you talk to people who know me, I'm kind of known for my professionalism. Um, and I take pride in it. My father was in the military and he taught me the value of discipline. Mm. He taught me the value of not taking for granted what you have been given. Um, I feel very, very blessed every single day for the life that I have been able to build. And I know I have worked hard every single day, put my head down, you know, dodged the bullets and just focused on my job. And you look back and you realize that you created a legacy for yourself and didn't waste your time on anything else. Well, the legacy, you know, we mentioned some of the haters and critics, and I can imagine one critic sometimes outweighs the 90 positive comments, right? Mm. But the, the positivity is there because you came here and I was growing up in this country. All we had back in the day, Priyanka, was Apu. A oh, you're telling me I went to high school in America. And oh, all so you know what's I had up. was Apu too. Yeah, they called us Apu and I Gandhi. Know. I was called that, Apu. Uh, and Apu is a 2D cartoon voiced by a white guy. Mm -hmm. And then, lo and behold, a couple years ago, we see Priyanka playing the lead of Quantico. And for so many Daisies, they're like, "Wow, look at that! Look at that! One of us as the lead on an American show on a mainstream American network." That was a huge deal. The next step, though, where do you think we still have to go, especially as people of color in an industry where, let's be honest, very Eurocentric, very Gora, and the gatekeepers are still very white? It requires people and leaders in every, ver every uh, vertical of entertainment who are Desi to understand what representation matters, to open the doors for other Desis, for other people who are like you, to turn around and create opportunity instead of being competitive with people who are like you. There we can only be one Desi. That's not true. And I have to get rid exactly. of her. That, exactly. Yeah. And it's been done to women as well. There has to be only one woman. So we elbowed each other out for years. And then we suddenly realized, hold on, wait a minute. You're just taking away my power by telling me there's only space for one. And hurting our community. Yeah. And that's the same thing. Is like we've, we were colonized for a very long time. And I think it's our nature because we were told to stay in a box, to just mind you, stay in your own lane. Mm. And we've been told that only one of you can succeed, you know, in a, in a uh, population of one fifth of the world's population is brown. We, we, uh, we, uh, and we marginalize ourselves because we were marginalized for such mm. a long time. And mm. we have to realize our strength in numbers. Mm. Last night I, I had tears, but it was the second annual um, South Asian Excellence Party at the Oscars. So last year we had done it and it was very small and the idea was to 
create a sense of community mm. in the um, field of entertainment of brown people, of South Asian excellence, of India, of Pakistan, of Afghanistan, of Bhutan, of Sri Lanka, of all the countries that comprise of South Asia. And we had six nominees and we wanted to send them off into the Oscars, me, Angela, and a bunch of my co-hosts, Mindy, Aziz, um, as people who've been working here. I've never been nominated, but I wanted the nominees Yet? to feel, sure, yes. But I wanted the nominees to feel a sense of community. That's awesome. I yeah. didn't have that when I came we here 10 years that. ago. Yeah. When I started working in Hollywood, I didn't have that. I had few people that I knew maybe, but there was a sense of like insecurity. There was a sense of, but last night there was almost everyone in um, the entertainment business of South Asian descent coming out to support our nominees that's awesome. and talking to each other and doing business together. And that's what you do, you know? That's what you do is like what you didn't have, you try and create so your next generation doesn't have to deal with the same stuff. Before we started taping, uh, you and I were talking, you know, my family is originally from Pakistan, you're from India, and I was just joking with you that over here, bigots don't tell the difference. <laughs> They're like, oh, let me go beat up the Bangladeshi. Oh, you're the Indian Pakistani, yeah. you can step aside. They don't care. Yeah. They see us as the brown threat and we have to stick together. And when we stick together, all of our communities thrive, especially in a place like America. So that's a heartwarming story. And for the first time ever at South by Southwest, there is a South Asia house. Yay, so yes, I heard about same that. Same thing's happening here. We got an invite. We're all going to go later, have some good chai. And not, it's, and it's, not chai tea, chai. No, chai. Chai and yeah. tea is the same yes, thing. Yes, thank you. It's like naan bread. Bread bread. Naan and bread is the same thing. <laughs> Injira bread. Injira and bread is the same thing. Basically, just say, learn the word. Yeah. <laughs> it's simpler. But I, I, I do think that, you know, there's... I did not know what South Asian was when I was in India. Mm. I learned the term South Asian when I came to America and I started working here and I was like, oh, this is, this is interesting. So it's basically eight countries that have been put together that have similar cultures mm. as South Asians. And I understood the power in it because Actually, you know, each one of these countries are highly individual, extremely diverse. That's right. All of us have our specific chais, our specific nans, uh, in hundred meters that you go in specific these countries. Specific dals. Specific dals, and nothing is the same. No recipe is the same. That's right. No outfit is the same, but the ethos is the same. The culture is the same. And there is something very cool about the diversity in South Asians, the uniqueness in each country and each nation and the descendants of that, but at the same time to come together and say, you know what, we all do like butter chicken and naan. Yeah. We love dal, we like chai. You know? uh, and you know, as a fellow Desi in South Asian, it just gives me joy to see a Desi like you crushing it and ascending. <laughs> and there was another Desi here, a reluctant futurist. Uh, he was just our guest about like eh, an hour ago, uh, Rohit Bhargava, he sent this book to you and he wrote this, Priyanka, Thank you for being an inspiration in all that you do. We wrote this book to celebrate voices like yours, and we hope you enjoy them. I promised him I would oh, give you. you his book. This that is Rohit's book. That means so much to me. Thank you so much, Rohit. All right, now I, now we have to do the controversial part with the one minute I have left, all right? What do you, have? Very what do you have? What Here do you have for me? I have to represent one point, no, 1 1.5 billion people. Yep. Okay. I'm a South <laughs> Asian. Every yes. Day. I'm the South Asian ambassador. I have a Bollywood star here. Okay. This is going to be the wow. most, con you have to answer this. Oh my All right. gosh. Okay. This is going to be the Bollywood lightning round. Oh Lord. Here we go. All right. Priyanka Chopra, you have to give me an answer. Are you ready? Oh no, but yeah, sure. Yeah, you could breathe. Okay. You could pray okay. too. Amitabh or Shah Rukh Khan? Amitabh Bachchan. Madhuri Dixit, Siri Devi. Shri Devi. Lata or Asha? That's a tough one, but Asha Tai. Rafi or Kishore Kumar? Again, a hard one, but my dad was a big Mohammed Rafi fan, so Rafi Ji. Most underrated Bollywood film of all time? That's very difficult. According to Priyanka. It's not underrated because we all love it, but I think Kayamat Se Kayamat Tak at its time. Totally not underrated, was but sure. Totally not underrated, but I think, you know, this next generation should have a revival of that movie. We don't give it as much credit for the kind of freedom it, it, we found in, in both those characters, in Juhi and Amir's, the music, and there was just young energy and like, we can do anything ourselves. Still works. Amazing. Most overrated Bollywood film of all time. I don't know. I don't watch overrated movies. Most overrated <laughs> Bollywood hit. Oh, Lord. I told you it'd be tough. Yeah, this one's hard. 
I don't know. It's hard to say that. People make movies with too much work, Baba. It's hard to say it's overrated. <laughs> okay. Once you start doing movies, you'll be like, this takes two years to make. I better not sh shit on it. <laughs> Best Bollywood movie of all time, hands down. <sighs> They're so diverse. Yeah, you can't no, say no, no, all No, 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 come on. I, I gave you one pass. Best Bollywood movie of all time. Oh, horrible. I, I, I don't know. I can't answer it. You have to give me one more pass. There's a million. We make like thousands Your, of Priyanka's movies. Priyanka's favorite oh Bollywood movie of all time. Tika, how's that? Made it so easy. My own. Yeah. Favorite Priyanka's movies. favorite Priyanka Bollywood movie of all time. I would say Barfi. Oh, okay. I. It was a really hard part. It was very easy for that to be you know, a caricature. I still like my toes curl when I watch it because it was just really stressful. But um, it, but I just as a movie, it's so poignant and sweet and the music is amazing and it just warms your heart and that's the kind of cinema that I love, that moves you. And I don't really watch my movies myself, but that was one I've watched at least two or three times. And last one, current Bollywood actor or actress who deserves to be the next Bollywood superstar. So somebody who's not. Someone who's right at the cusp, but you're like, watch out for this person. I mean, I think like Alia is, but she is a Bollywood superstar, so I can't say. Um, I really like Alaya Fanchavala. I think she's Pooja Bedi's daughter. And I just, I've told her when I met her, I think, I, I think she's just cool you know, and has a unique perspective, is not trying to be like everyone else. Um, but I think, I don't know, we'll find out in a few years. Breaking news, you heard it here <laughs> first, it's on camera. Priyanka, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for crushing it. Thank you for representing us. I wish you all the success. I wish you the success with Citadel, which is premiering on Prime April 28th. You can find our complete schedule of interviews on our website at sxsw.com slash studio. Our studio interviews are also live streaming during the conference on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash sxsw. And I'm your host, Wajahat Ali. Thanks for watching.